So as you probably know, we absolutely love tractors. Tractors are just the thing, Max, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we absolutely love them. So we bought this Sammy Explorer 18 not that long ago because we absolutely love it. We bought it for ourselves to use around the small holding we've got and bits and pieces and it's cool we absolutely adore it and we've bought some other attachments and machinery to go with it but the tractor addiction seems to be getting bigger because we have some very exciting news because we have bought a case maxim 5130 oh yes a case maxim 5130 look at her look at her well excited well excited so we bought this tractor possibly to keep or possibly to flip so we haven't since I, since I bought it and it got delivered the other day I haven't actually gone round it properly to see what needs doing or this happening so we're going to go around it today and we're going to start tidying it up and seeing what we need to do with it as you can see already I think there's a light missing and it's got a loader on which we love a loader so and it's got what what headstocks it got on the front max it's, it used to have trimmer but somebody's welded a bow shaft to the top to make it euro yeah so it's got euro brackets on so it fits the attachments we've already got which is great and yeah so let's just go and have a look around it and see what we've got so yeah it's a case max and 5130 which absolutely beautiful tractor back in this day it's a 1995 on an emirate so it's exactly the same age as the sammy the sammy behind it right you can't even it's so big it's huge so it's 99 horsepower so it's only what 19 horsepower bigger than the sammy but it is a massive frame tractor absolutely love it it's such a such a sexy machine proper powerhouse but they were, you know, they're known for their reliability and their strength and just how awesome they were. There's quite a following with them. Definitely more of a following with these tractors than there is the Sammys. Although, look at, look at her. She's beautiful. I don't want her to feel left out. Happy, so yeah, 100, 100 horsepower tractor. How about that? Right, Max wants to show around in the cab first so he can get on and do some work in there. He's tying the door back because the, another tractor we've got where the gas strut is broken. So, never mind. Right, let's go in the cab. And look at her. What a pretty little cab. Bigger cab than Sammy Max, isn't it? Yeah, there's loads of room behind the seat for me. <laughs> right, how many hours has she done? 12. Uh... 12, 12,250, isn't it? Or something like that. So, yeah, she's done a lot more hours than the Sammy, hence the condition. But to be fair, the cab isn't in too bad a condition. The air seat doesn't hold air amazingly well, so it's something I want to have a look at. Does I need, do I need to replace another seat? Maybe. So if I do, it probably won't be in their seat because they're very expensive. But, you yeah, know. A grammar. A grammar one, yeah. We'd love to, mate. We'd love to. Fence. But, cool, look. It's got a CB in it. Who leaves a CB in the tractor, eh? <laughs> one, two, one, four, do you read me over? <laughs> one thing that annoyed me as soon as I got in it and just moved it the other day was, the steering wheel is loose, so that's my first, one of my first jobs to get that sorted because it's annoying. But yeah, apparently all gears work, all hydraulics work and everything, so we'll start her up in a minute and just show you everything that does work. There's a few little annoying things like broken handle on the window. This one's fine this side, so that's fine. And yeah, but no, everything it doesn't look too bad at all in here, really. All the dials work, so that's a good, good news. Uh, have a look at lights and things in a bit as well. Right, what's your first job, Maxie? To clean this cab out, because it's got like loads of mud on the floor, loads of dust everywhere. Yeah, it hasn't been, you know, before buying it, it hasn't been cleaned out. So, yeah, we're going to strip it back and um, get it all um, cleaned up, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, so I shall leave you to do that while we, um, I show them around the outside. So first noticeable thing on the outside is that the side panels are missing, which is a bit of a shame. But whether that's because there is a loader on it and there isn't quite enough room for them or they rub or something, I don't know. So we're going to find that out. But if anyone knows of any 5130s, which they want to sell the side panels off, I'll be very grateful. Also going under the front, the front grille has seen better days. doesn't look too bad from first look, but it's um, looking a little bit fiberglass surround has perished. And the bonnet on the top is, well, it's solid because it's pretty good steel work, but it's, um, yeah, definitely, definitely needs a good sort out. Again, panel missing on this side. Nearly new tires on the front, both sides. But the nice thing about it with the loader, it is proper joystick controls in it, rather than, you know, a lot of older tractors obviously had the cable controls. So to have, um, or spool valve controls. Got a toolbox, which has got two link balls in, which is handy, and a pin. So definitely gonna be using that. I have a feeling where that pin might be, which I did have a look at the other day. Underneath all, it's pretty clean and underneath, to be quite honest. I reckon the exhaust is blowing here somewhere on the engine. There's 
One of my guys just had a look around it the other day and he goes, oh, there's a lot of them, a lot of black soot around it. So it could be the, the exhaust is blowing. Tires on the back, I'd probably say are about 30% probably. The rear wings are absolutely solid, but I've just obviously painted faded, typical case. They've gone pink rather than red. And underneath again, very clean, very, very nice. Then the worst bit of it all, yes, we do have a rusty rear fender, which is nice because it's only this bit here. So we could quite easily take that off and weld patch in some nice new steel on there because I don't expect we're going to be able to get them. All the glasses in the cab all the way around, which is a big bonus because there's nothing worse than trying to find glass or doors and frames and all of that. It does have optional air conditioning. On the back, I can't really see that on the thing, but it's got the optional, two optional extras, which apparently is 40k. Um, it's got the 40k optional extra and it's got the air conditioning option. Uh, it's got uh, two spools on the back and trailer lights. It's even got a brake socket, which the Sammy doesn't have. So on the Teagle Titan we bought the other day in the previous video, we can actually put the trailer into this one and brake with it. Uh, looks like it's got a hydraulic return on there for doing sort of post banging or log splitting or something where you need a good return. Uh, draw bar on the back, which is a reversible, a reversible pickup hitch. The pickup hitch is in there, so it just needs turning around. Whereas on the Sammy, it's a separate one. It's got a bit of a temporary job pin in there, which you need to have a look at. Which I'm sure that spring's fun. Uh, this is my favorite bit, is the pin in the check chain, or the check arm, whatever you want to call them these days. It's just a screwdriver. So that pin that's in that toolbox could probably go straight in there if it fits. All the link arms all look too, don't look too bad. Everything's all pretty good, you know. For 12,000 hours, it is pretty good mechanically. It's, Max is very excited because it's got the hooks on the linkage rather than just the rings on the Sammy. So he, said he calls it proper linkage. So that's cool. And he's well excited about having a bigger tractor as well. Uh, we are missing, I'm guessing these are work lights in the back here or reversing lights, I don't know, because work lights at the top, but I'll have a look to see all those work. Obviously got the linkage controls on the back. Again, I don't know if they work yet. A bit more, a bit more work required here. Not as bad as the other one, but yeah. So there we go. That's a full look round. So, right, let's um, get on and do some bits and pieces to it and um, see what needs doing and what doesn't and fill you in on the rest. How satisfying is that? <laughs> Look at the extension on the throttle. Are you sending your foot so much? I quite like that idea. Right, so I've just pressure washed off the back end. Water dripping everywhere now because I've got a bit carried away. But yeah, looking pretty good. Nice. Also replaced that pin down there already from that one that's in the toolbox. On the check chain, that's all sorted. Yeah, cool. Gaining. Pressure washing away now, lost the job. Got the Arbor pressure washer today. It's got the best twisty knob power knob on the end that I know of. Absolutely brilliant. The best thing about this one is you use it just as a handgun. It's going to have to hold Yes, this is the Arbor. Yes. Well, it's definitely warming up, but the initial clean is done. She is looking a lot better than what she was just now. So well happy to have a look in the cab. So initial clean is done. And actually done a pretty good job in here of cleaning everything up as in the first initial clean, just to see what we've got in your monk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pleased with that? Yeah. Good lad. Right, you're gonna start her up for us? Yeah. Hi, Maxie. Ah, oh, nice. Up with the loader. Yeah. Nice. Little McConnell loader on her. McConnell four loader. Extendable as well. You hear that? You can actually change how far your loader sticks out the front of the tractor, which I've never seen before. I think it's pretty cool. Obviously it puts a little more weight in your loader, but does it make it stronger or not? Your phone's 
Well, that's essentially right. I think it's time for a road test. Let's try my gear down now then. Here she comes. So there we have another tractor, but it is for sale. So, you know, we bought it to sell it. So if anyone's interested in a beautiful case 5130, we're going to plan to do some bits and pieces on it. We just made a list of all the things that need doing, or perhaps you would like a project because, you know, this is perfect tractor. So our list so far is front fenders, Max, isn't it? Yeah. Paint the loader black because the yellow just looks wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's a McConnell loader. Yeah, so it was in yellow originally, and someone has painted it black before, but we're going to paint it black again to make it look just cooler with the tractor. Uh, the air seat seemed to sort that problem out. The steering, I found that it just needs a bush at the top, so you can sort the bush out on the steering. Uh, going to put a new radio in it, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, CB aerial, because the CB's here, but there's no aerial. Need to sort out that. What else was radio there? Oh, aerial. radio aerial as well, yeah. Well, just the rear fenders. Oh yeah, we're well the rear fender's up like he's doing. Um, what else is there? Uh, that's about it, isn't it? I think. Yeah. But the list is about 20 different things, all small minor stuff. But yeah, we're going to do that Do that on this channel, uh, unless someone makes me a uh, cracking offer beforehand, if they want to track to themselves. It's pretty cool. You know, you've got, you got 16, 16 gears, 8 forward, 8 back. Uh, no, 16 forward, 16 back, Max, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is, yeah. 6, 4, 4, yeah. 64, 16 back. Left forward and reverse shuttle, left hand shuttle. Loader, joystick controls on the loader. It is a nice little tractor, Max, isn't it? And it sounds mint. Mm -hmm. It does really sound mint. Love it. Right. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheerio. Bye. Oh, please subscribe. That'd be great. Really helpful. Bye.